The year was 1923. Greece becomes the last European country to adopt the Georgian calendar. Time magazine is published for the first time. 24 Hours of Le Mans was first held and has since been run annually in June. Check out my last video for more. And oh yeah, the most evil female Nazi was born. Irma Greece, also known as Heine of Auschwitz. How evil was she, you ask? Well, I'm about to tell you. So picture this, if you will. Um, God, Elsie Ida Gries, born October the 7th of 1923, was a Nazi concentration camp guard at Ravensbrück and Auschwitz, and served as warden of the women's section of Bergen-Belsen. She was a volunteer member of the SS. Ries was convicted of crimes involving the ill-treatment and murder of prisoners committed at Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen concentration camps, and sentenced to death at the Belsen trial. Executed at 22 years of age, Ries was the youngest woman to die judicially under British law in the 20th century. Auschwitz inmates nicknamed her the Hyena of Auschwitz. Part 1. Early Life and Family Elma Grease was born to Berta Grease and Alfred Grease, both dairy workers, on the 7th of October 1923. Irma was the third of five children, three girls and two boys. In 1936, her mother died by suicide after drinking hydrochloric acid following the discovery of Alfred's affair with the local pub owner's daughter. Historian Peter Vronsky speculated that Alfred Grease joined the Nazi party in 1937 and remarried in 1939. Irma's sister, Helen, said at Irma's trial that in primary school, when girls were quarreling and fighting, Irma never had the courage to fight, but ran away. In 1938, at the age of 15, Grease left school, and she would work at a farm for six months, then in a shop and then in a hospital ran by the SS for two years. Part 2 Concentration Camp Guard By her teenage years, Grace, like her sisters, wanted to join the League of German Girls, the branch of the one who must not be named youth, but her father forbade it. Before her 17th birthday, she moved to the SS Female Helpers Training Base, which was located near Ravensbrock the all-female concentration camp. In 1940, she became an officer which means guard or overseer, at Ravensbrück, and transferred to Auschwitz, Birkenau, in March of 1943. Due to her transfer, Grace had a falling out with her father the same year, as he had been vehemently opposed to her joining the SS Jofalge. He expelled her from his house. Grace participated in prisoner selection for the gas chambers of Auschwitz. And in early 1945, Grace companioned a prisoner evacuation transport from Auschwitz to Ravensbrück. In March, she went to Bergen-Belsen, along with a large number of prisoners from Ravensbrück. Grace was captured by the British Army on the 17th of April in 1945, with other SS personnel who did not flee. But what crimes did she commit, you might ask? Well, I'm about to name some. She was trained to become hardened and to punish prisoners severely when necessary and she became accustomed to beating and kicking prisoners, sometimes to the point of death with a whip made of cellophane. She had a sick fondness for striking women on their breasts and forcing Jewish girls to be her lookout as she raped inmates. As if that wasn't enough, she would sick a dog on prisoners, whip them constantly, and kick them with the hobnailed jackboots until there was blood. And worst of all, Grace had lampshades made from the skin of three dead prisoners. Part 3. War Crimes Trial Greece was among the 45 people accused of war crimes at the Belsen Trial, which was held in Nuremberg, Lower Saxony. She was trialed over the first period of the trials, 17th of September to 17th of November of 1945, and was represented by Major Cranfield. The trials were conducted under British military law, based on charges derived from the Geneva Convention of 1929. Regarding the treatment of prisoners, the accusation against her centered 
on her ill-treatment and murder of those imprisoned at the camps. Survivors provided detailed testimony of cruelties. They also claimed that she beat some women using a plated whip. Under direct examination, Irma Gris testified about her background. I was born on 7th October of 1923. In 1938, I left the elementary school and worked for six months on agriculture jobs at a farm, after which I worked at a shop in Lyshen for six months. When I was 15, I went to a hospital in Hohen Lyshen, where I stayed for two years. I tried to become a nurse, but the labor exchange would not allow that, and sent me to work in a dairy in Furstenberg. In July of 1922, I tried again to become a nurse, but the labor exchange sent me to Ravensbrück concentration camp. Although I protested against it, I stayed there until March of 1943, when I went to Birkenau camp in Auschwitz, and I remained in Auschwitz until January of 1945. During the trial, the process labeled Greece as the beautiful beast along former SS, Popstern for her Joseph Kramer, the beast of Belsen, the former commander at Birkenau, after a nine-week trial, Greece was sentenced to death by hanging. Although the charges against some of the other female warders, a total of 16 were charged, were as serious as those against Greece. She was one of only three female guards to be sentenced to death. Part 4 Execution Greece and two other concentration camp workers, Joanna Borman and Elizabeth Volkenrath, were convicted along with eight men for crimes committed at Auschwitz and Belsen, and sentenced to death. As the verdicts were read, Greece was the only prisoner to remain defiant. A subsequent appeal was rejected. According to Wende Yadel Mary Sati, the night before her execution, Greece sang Nazi songs until the early hours of the morning with Joanna Borman. On 13th of December of 1945, in Hamlin Prison, Greece was led to the gallows. The women were executed individually by long drop hanging, and the men in pairs. British Army Regimental Sergeant Major Richard Anthony O'Neill assisted the executioner, Albert Pierpoint. We climbed the stairs of the cells where the condemned were waiting. A German officer at the door leading the corridor flung open the door, and we fled past the row of faces and into the execution chamber. The officer stood at attention. Brigadier Patton Walsh, stood with his wristwatch raised. He gave me the signal, and a sigh of released breath was audible in the chamber. I walked into the corridor. Irma Grease, I called. The German guard quickly closed all grills on twelve of the inspection holes and opened one door. Irma Grease stepped out. The cell was far too small for me to go inside. I had to pinion her to the corridor. Follow me, I said in English and O'Neill repeated the order in German. At 9.34am, she walked into the execution chamber, gazed for a moment at the official standing round it, then walked into the centre of the trap, where I had made a chalk mark. She stood on this mark very firmly, and as I placed the white cap over her head, she said in her languid voice, Schnell, which means quickly. The drop crashed down and the doctor followed me into the pit and pronounced her dead. After twenty minutes, the body was taken down and placed in a coffin, ready for burial. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Irma Grace was executed at the age of twenty-two. When I was twenty-two, I was still reading Harry Potter. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And a huge thank you for 250 subscribers. Very exciting times we live in. For more videos, please comment below, like, share and subscribe. That is all for now and I will see you in the next one.